Uh, welcome to Senator Math series, uh, basic series on field theory. In this series, we're going to cover some topics uh, about fields, their definition axioms, the polynomials over fields, uh, factorization polynomials, irreducible polynomials, uh, finite fields, uh, field extensions, and ruler and compass constructions. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit about definitions and the axioms of fields. So, a field. So a field is like a generalization of uh, rational numbers or real numbers. It's a set with two operations, usually called multiplication and addition. It's an abelian group under addition, and the identity element for addition is usually given, uh, it's called zero, given the symbol zero, like in uh, rational numbers. And then F, uh, not including zero, is an abelian group over multiplication. And the last axiom is uh, multiplication is distributive over addition. So A times in parentheses B plus C is A times B plus A times C. And so this is the basic definition of a field, and it's kind of like a yeah, like a generalization of rational or real numbers. So uh, unlike uh, rational numbers, uh, given just our axioms, we're not given some seemingly obvious things that we need to prove. Uh, one obvious, seemingly obvious thing is that 0 times some element of f gives you 0. Uh, you can prove this easily, just consider a times a. This is a plus 0. a plus 0 is equal to a. So this is a plus 0 times a, which is a times a plus 0 times a. Because uh, it's an abelian group under addition, we have inverses for uh, any elements we're adding, so subtract off the inverse of a times a, both sides, and we get 0 equals 0 times a. And the next thing we can show is that negative 1 times an element gives you the uh, additive inverse of that element. And so for that, we can consider a plus minus 1 times a, which is the same as 1 plus minus 1 in parentheses times a. Minus 1 is just the inverse of 1. Uh, so that's 0, and we showed that 0 times a times any element a is 0, so we have 0 equals a plus minus 1 to a. And then adding the inverse of a, we have the inverse of a equals minus 1 times a. So we can have subfields of any given field. A subfield is just basically a field contained in a field. So a subfield, if we have a, given a field F, a subfield uh, of F is just given the set of F. It's some subset of that set of F. And that subset is a subgroup. It's, it uses the same addition and multiplication operations. And under addition, the subset is a subgroup of the addition uh, group of F. And under multiplication, it's a subgroup of the multiplication group of that. So it's just a field inside a field. So one last thing, a number field is any subfield of the complex numbers. Uh, so we can show, in fact, any number field has to contain the rational numbers since the unit element of uh, multiplication, since 1 is, uh, is in any subfield of the complex numbers, we can repeatedly add 1 to any integer. So that shows any integer must be in a subfield of the complex numbers. And then since we have any integer, we can multiply and divide them. And by dividing them, we can get any rational number. Uh, we want, and then taking the inverse, we can get any negative rational number, and so we have all the rational numbers in any number field, any uh, subfield of the complex numbers. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please check out our other uh, field theory uh, basic series videos. Uh, please check out senatormath.org, check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.